All right, ladies and gentlemen, well. welcome back to more Destroy All Humans 2. My name is Raven from the Sky. Let's do this. Okay, Pox, I've cut off the source of the Blisk's radiation, demolished the Blisk Cosmonaut Alliance, and basically provoked an all-out war around Solaris. I say it's time we take this fight to the Krabbies themselves. I think you're right. Well, why in the hell do You do? <laughs> I do. And I even have an ace up our sleeve to destroy the Blisk once and for... What the hell is that? Oh no! That's the launch sequence alert! The Blisk are launching their weapon! Well, maybe it's not so bad. Dream on! Those sadists are incapable of anything less than full-scale annihilation! Okay, keep your G-string on. There's gotta be a way to stop that launch. What? How did you know about my G-string? No, no, never mind! Once initiated, there's no way we can abort the launch. However... If we overload the laser guidance system, the weapon might veer off target. Laser guidance system? What laser guidance system? The dishes, Crypto! Overload the dishes! Do the dishes, protect the Earth, save the Furon DNA. Got it. Man, whatever happened to destroying all humans? Let this be a lesson to you, Crypto. The best laid plans can be derailed by an unexpected case of the crabs. Now go! Crypto, that energy door is blocking your way to the radar array. You'll have to find a way to shut it down. I expect Easy, you just think of saw the cords to the good thing. Politicians are saying we are needing radar in order to have energy door as security precaution. But we are on goddamn move! Who's going to attack us? Martians? <laughs> oh, right. Shut him off! Oh, I'm...
to increase the intensity of those radar emissions. Perhaps if you cross the beams. Oh, no, wait. That would be bad. I'm a little fuzzy on the whole good-bad thing. Try to imagine all life as you know it stopping instantaneously and every molecule in your body exploding at the speed of light. Total protonic reversal. Right. That's bad. Got it. No, no. There's no use for it. We're just going to have to take the risk. Do it, Crypto. Cross the beams. Cross them for all your worth. You ask for it. Well, Cryptosporidium, once again you showed unexpected pluck. You've stopped my weapon launching. Pity, really. We had such glorious renovation plans for that pathetic little planet. But no matter. <laughs> You've nearly staved off the inevitable. You can't fight progress, Furon. so sure of yourself if you knew our fiendish master plan. Get this through your monkey brain, Bill and Cobb. We own that planet, and there's not a damn thing that you or your rusky pals can do about it. Such bluster, such overconfidence, <laughs> yet still you can't see the big picture. I wonder... Would you feel so arrogant if you knew the full scope of our fiendish master plan? Millie, I'm gonna probe you so hard, you're gonna be wearing diapers for a month. I already take a weekly high colonic, but thank you for the offer. On the other hand, I wonder, would you be so bold if you knew our devilish master plan? You guys just gotta have your monologues, don't you? Okay, I give. What's your damn master plan? Let me guess. You and the Blisk are gonna spread those spores and enslave humanity. Commies and crabbies, a match made in heaven. <laughs> Small minds, no imagination. It's nothing so mundane. We don't give a damn about humanity, Cryptosporidium. What we want from Earth is the same thing you want. Survival. 
So the Krampies want a new crib. What's wrong with Mars? Mars is a desert. An acid wasteland. You furon so to death. But Earth. Earth is three-fifths water. All it lacks is massive radioactivity. To become a new Eden. A new radiated ocean paradise for Blisk. But what about the Russians? Your people can't live in that. <laughs> My people? <laughs> oh, you really aren't very bright, are you? Why do you think we've waged Cold War? Encouraged the buildup of nuclear arms? Good God, what sane human would pursue such obvious suicide? 1908, Blisk worship crashes. 1970, act of revolution. To the mat! You, of all creatures, should know. Aliens work among us, da? You're not suggesting. Suggesting? I'm telling you. Lenin, Stalin, Khrushchev. Trotsky? Please, don't be ridiculous. It helped that Russian is so close to Bliskish. No coincidence, of course. The Furans aren't the only race who ever used Earth for sure live. Face it, Kratos Boridion. You Furans have been out skiing. The history of the Soviet Union is the history of Blisk on Earth. The loss of us force is a blow, but in the end it makes no difference. Soon, Earth will be ours. No more humans, no more Furan DNA. And there's not a god. Damn thing you can do about it. Astrovia <laughs> Cryptosporidium. Wow. He's like invincible. And he turned around and walked away. <laughs> oh, okay. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. My name is Raven from the sky. If you enjoyed the episode, drop a like and subscribe to the channel. See if you grow. Take care and I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace out.